Ultimate DJs here with yet another piece of video content for you over the last 24 hours. Man, what a busy day for the ARCs. And, uh, and I, hey, okay, I, I, you caught me. I ain't going to lie. I'm taping this before the ARC even went live. So if yesterday was a complete dumpster fire, then my bad. I, I didn't know it at the time I taped this. What I can say is that on paper, well, everything looked great. Hey, if the rollout was a smooth and awesome success, then great job, Scopely! Woo-hoo! Nice one! Great game. Here's a pat on the butt for you, okay? All right, now, listen. Today's video focuses on the introduction of something new coming today. So let's get started before you get bored and tune out. First, uh, thought, okay? Please subscribe to the channel right here. Click the bell notifier so you know whenever we post new important content because we never post anything that's not important. And uh, like the video, please, as we go along, feel free to write in the comments section below and we'll answer you as we can. Today, at Event Reset, we're going to see a new type of event. A ticketed event, and as I mentioned in the original ARC intro video, kind of a carnival-style thing. These tickets are going to allow players to choose their daily event. For example, coming up today, which is day two of the February ARC, for those of you watching this video a little bit late, we're going to have three specific events for you to choose from. Okay, One event may be some type of hostile grind, for example, uh, maybe a PvE-style event. Another event, maybe from a different type of category, maybe. Uh, could be some type of power progression or a domination style event. And the third category could be focused on something else, maybe PvP or some type of alliance supportive event, such as helps or donations. Whatever these three events are, you get to choose. The rewards will then be sourced out and you'll be able to redeem these rewards for the ever-coveted TOS recruit chest tokens, including Kirk and Spock and Uhura Bones and Sulu, maybe some Doomsday Warp Cells to be used in the PvP events later in the arc. You may even see some Apex Research Medals or other, uh, other types of rewards. These events will let you choose how you want to spend your time in the game. The great news is, to do your events and get your daily allotment, you only have to do one per day. And great news, you don't have to pay for these tickets. You know, like when you go to the carnival, you got to pay for the tickets to ride the rides. Not here. We're going to give you one free event every single day. Now, of course, you can spend. You can always buy that VIP wristband, right? But more on that later. These events will just cost tickets. The tickets will be made available in the Battle Pass milestone. So if you want to do the events, but maybe, uh-oh, you're used to holding milestones for recruiting events, then you got a choice to make, all right? But for most players, they will redeem their milestones. They'll get their 120 tickets in the Battle Pass. And by the way, most of you, uh, or all of you, should have gotten 10 in a gift chest by now, totaling 130 tickets, with each event costing 10 tickets to compete. And they'll be ready to go for events during those days. Now, I mentioned it a bit ago. There would be a pay option. And of course, of course, there always is, all right? For hardcore players, just hell-bent and doing a bunch of domination. <laughs> of course, you can purchase tickets to do multiple events per day. This will do a few things, of course, okay? It is a pay-to-advance type model in that you will receive maybe more Doomsday Warp Cells by completing more events. You'll receive more Recruit Chest Tokens and whatever other rewards that they're offering. But it's not just for buying a pack. You still got to do whatever the event is. So even if you're buying extra tickets, you're still not just buying your way to extra officer shards. You got to grind them out through the extra events that are available on select days this month. Not every day, okay? Not every day, just some of them. As a matter of fact, we can go ahead and tell you that these styles of events, these ticketed dailies, are going to run 13 days in this 20-day arc, resulting in a total possible spend of 390 possible tickets. But you will be sourced 120 of them for free in your battle pass and then 10 from your gift chest. If you take a very quick look at the battle pass that I'm going to show you right now, you'll see you get 10 in the second milestone, 10 in the fourth milestone, 10 more in the sixth, then 10 in the eighth, 10 in the 10th, 10 in the 12th. I'm not kicking. I'm not clicking fast enough. Then you get 20 in the 14th, 20 in the 16th, 20 in the 18th. That's a total of 120 plus your 10 
from the gift chest. Now, there will be multiple levels of packs depending on what you want to spend. Lower packs will have lower tickets. They're going to scale up. The bigger packs are going to have up to 390 tickets. But DJ's dagnabbit, if I buy 390 tickets and then I spend 390 tickets and then I get 130 tickets out of the battle pass, then I'm going to have 130 tickets left over. Whatever will I do? Oh my god. I can't stand extra items in my inventory. It gives me headaches seeing all these wasted currencies in my inventory list. Fret no more, fellow inventory hoarders. This currency, this type of event ticket, this is not ARC exclusive. You hear me, community? This is not ARC exclusive. No sorry, Bob. It's a permanent currency and one that will be used for ticketed events in future ARCs. Meaning if you finish this month and you have leftover tickets, no big deal. You'll be able to use them in the future. Will there always be only 13 days? Will there always be a spend of 390 total tickets? Will events only cost 10 tickets per event? No, no, and no. Future iterations of this ticketed carnival style event, style of player's choice, it's going to vary, okay? And continue to be iterated and reacted upon based on your feedback, community. Uh, but the currency will not expire and will be used in future arcs. So don't fret about spending a little extra on tickets. If you so choose, you'll have the opportunity to use them in the future. Ticketed events are the next step in Scopely's commitment, not only to reducing required screen time, but allowing the players the opportunity to spend more screen time if they so choose. Leaderboards have always been a good example of this, and now ticketed events are as well. Choose how you spend your time, choose how much time you spend, and choose your rewards for additional grind, and get paid regardless uh, in the officer shards and other goodies that are being made available. Community, this is a brand new one. Now, I do want to run you through the events guide in the news channel very, very quickly just to take a quick peek at some of the stuff that we've got coming up just in a brief, broad overview. Of course, we talked about the ticketed events. Here they are, okay? We've got the ticketed events happening uh, basically every weekday. This is how they came up with the 13, uh, the 13 days. We've got 13 weekdays starting today and all the way through the end of the month, all right? But look, there's actually one more. Doomsday Onslaught, PvE and PvP. It's level 32 plus. A solo leaderboard on the weekends between February 10th and February 28th. Score by damaging the worms or earning bonus points by damaging players and the hostiles in the open PvP systems. Folks, this is is where you're going to be using those doomsday warp cells, okay? The doomsday transwarp thingy-mabobbers, okay? And just in case you wanted to take a quick look here, I'll go over into the recruit chest. By the way, here is the TOS recruit chest, and it has the officers, and uh, we can see here. I'll show you this. Uh, here's the how the breaks down, so you're not guaranteed one of these, at least from the TOS chest, but you can see what they look like, and here's everything else for all the other officers, okay? So you also then have a TOS officers event it looks like it's running twice the 15th through the 18th 19th through the 21st by recruiting and upgrading officers plus bonus points for earning shards and promoting TOS Sulu and McCoy we also have three 24 hour solo leaderboards for rescuing the TOS officers damaging hostiles throughout the galaxy bonus points by killing these worms okay uh, here are the uh, solo leaderboards and the solo milestones for the G4 players in their research tree. And then we have three 24-hour periods, level 18 plus solo milestone, Hunt the Factions, okay? And this very much may be somewhat kind of like Wrath or Duty from last month. We're going to have to see how that plays out. And then, of course, for love, the Valentine's Day event. We're actually going to have a cool video coming up on this particular event as we draw closer to the day. Some fantastic rewards are on tap for you this Valentine's Day holiday. Uh, here, of course, then we see our auctions. Uh, TOS Kirk, as expected, TOS U.S. Spock and whoop, the treble. The treble is making its way back into the auction arena, uh, and it is uh, a week after Kirk in the same type of auction, G3 or G4, and our modded directives. Plus, cosmic cleanup every single Saturday. And what did I tell you? What was the secret hint? Cosmic cleanup. That's the one that's got the event store. That's the one that has the, the space garbage or the Vidar BPs or the Franklin BPs. And now... <laughs> 
sarcophagus BPs. You didn't hear that from me, though, okay? That's Cosmic Cleanup, and there is your event overview. What do you think? Leave your comments in the section below so that we can gauge your feedback on this new type of feature set and send it right on up that flagpole. Leave your comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with others so that we here on Talking Trek can continue to provide you excellent content as often as we're able. Please visit our website. The link is below in the video description, but it's also TalkingTrekSTFC.online for links to join our Discord, meet our community, and find previous podcast episodes, including our episode yesterday, introducing you to the brand new arc and answering your questions. On behalf of Snake Eyes and the entire Talking Trick team, I'm Ultimate DJs. We're going to see you on the next one, everybody. Love you, mean it. See you later. Bye-bye.